Francisco Franco's body has been removed from Valley of the Fallen and it has been uh, reburied at a private family ceremony here behind me at the Mingo Rubio El Pardo Cemetery. Uh, they, uh, shortly after the cemetery, family members, uh, descendants of Francisco Franco, uh, grandchildren, great-grandchildren came out behind me here and spoke to reporters. They said it was a profanation of Francisco Franco's grave. They said that this was a socialist government out simply to win votes at the next election. Uh, they said even that their uh, fundamental rights had been breached. Uh, since the ending of the ceremony, the police have allowed uh, dozens and dozens of, of Franco nostalgics to get closer to this cemetery. Uh, they're waving Franco uh, flags. They're saying uh, that Franco was not a dictator, that he was somebody who, who made Spain great. Uh, they are, uh, has to be said, in the minority. There's uh, very few uh, people like like them today in Spain. Many Spaniards uh, feel that this was high time uh, that the uh, body of the former dictator was removed from that mausoleum where he was essentially in, held in great state honours with flowers uh, put freshly on his grave uh, every uh, day, every week. It was uh, really for some of the victims uh, a difficult su to support that uh, four decades after his death still uh, he was lording it over his victims. There's about uh, 34,000 victims buried at Valley of the Fallen. The Spanish Prime Minister said uh, from tomorrow people will be able to visit that giant basilica uh, knowing that the only people who lie there are people who were buried in the Civil War.